How long can I stay at an MLB game? Twins beat the Brewers, road teams head to the mound, and all the Milwaukee faithful are hitting the exits. Going to this Brewers game on a whim, I think I found the best environment for America's pastime. It's early April, it's disgusting outside in Milwaukee, but we have a domed MLB game that nobody is at. Taking in the game in peace in an indoor climate with no one like eight rows away from you, undefeated. On top of the serenity of this moment though, I am actually a really, really big fan of American Family Field. It lets a lot of natural light in, and with the roof up, it kind of feels like an NFL stadium in a way. Have a good one. As I'm going out of the top level, I get a lot of notes of Lucas Oil here. Almost four minutes down, and we're heading into the concourse that still has some people, but it's been pretty empty all game. You saw the seats in the top, top level. There was like less than a thousand people here for sure. Pretty quick call down for the attendance. What do we all have going on in our top, top concourse here? Team store, pretty basic concession setup, and nobody but security the rest of our way down here. I'm pretty content moving though. I'm kind of bored with this spot. And at just over nine minutes down, I've already outlasted a good amount of our Brewers fans that came out today. If you only see parking lots and highways outside this view, that's literally all there is outside American Family Field. Club level's one floor down. Should I hop in here? LOL. There still has to be more stuff going on here. This ballpark is so big. Let's make our way back through the 200 level. That should be a little bit nicer. Dude, yes, 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 yes. Never mind. Screw the 200 level. We're going right here. Need to get on the field here. We need to get on this field. I've been on the playing surface for NBA, NHL, and NFL. This is like my final white whale right here. We got to get MLB. Where do I get down here? Where is it? A lot less people this time, but we still have a few. I think we might be able to slide down. Let's cross our fingers. Seniors only event. That's a new one. Maybe I just missed the boat, but it seems like there's a lot more than just seniors out in this field. I'm growing out my wrinkles fast enough. I'll blend in soon. Well, now we're almost 18 minutes down and at least we're on the 100 level where everything's happening. Quick photo op by a baseball glove. The Brewers had to make these green beams and brick finishes to feel like Lambeau Field on the concourse. I know I said this place feels like Lucas Oil Stadium, but as I'm walking around more, it's kind of like if Lucas Oil and Lambeau Field had a baby. I'm sure that makes no sense, but it makes sense to me. Looks like we have our last foe getting off of the field, so I gotta be in the final wave of people getting out of here at this point. I'd be remiss to not get a ground screw shot while I'm at it too, because you know we love watching our men do work. Also, while we're here, shout out this Retro Brewer logo. This is one of the best ones in the game. I need to find a spot to break away. I just don't know where. This seems pretty empty. What if I just go right here? I think we found the space we're looking for, ladies and gents. Favorite thing I've seen so far? Retro Bud Selig baseball cards? Crazy. There's actually even a whole Bud Selig experience up here. That's a lot of love for a former Kamesh. Just past 32 minutes down in. We can hear a pin drop up here, man. I guess when you have full security to clear out a quarter of the people, it goes pretty fast. Just listen to it in here. We had a game a half hour ago. Can I make my way all the way back up to the top? I think I might be able to. What's in here? Is this X-Golf open? Not bad. Open bar? Semi ready to go? This might not be a bad spot to hang out. But how can I stay in one spot when we have all of our club seats right across the way to check out? This is so bougie. Please tell me this is open. Let's rock, bro. This might be the best setup I've ever walked into, man. Take a walk with me and check out how long and extensive this club section is. I don't know if these get sold together or separately, but like you could raise a family in here. And you have like an entire patio to watch the game on? Holy hell, guys. But this is not a day until I get to Bernie Chalet. Just a few more flights to go. Dude, this is like actually wide open. I have to be able to get in here, right? Okay, we might still be a big leap and a lot gate away, but I had no idea we could get this close. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. Dreams, man. 
dreams. But even without the slide, look around. Workers are coming out to clean the seats. Everything's empty. I'm clearly the last non-worker here. And that only took like 47 minutes. We got to at least see if this door is open though, right? What's a crew putting on the field here? That can't be for baseball, right? Man, that's tough. Pretty nice Miller Lite patio in the outfield next to it. Kind of inspired by this beer can logo, not gonna lie. There's such few people in this building at this point, it's not even funny. I'm calling it, man. We've seen everything. We're the last person here. That's a W for the good guys. Guess we'll have to settle for the fake one on the bottom floor. Quick stroll past Autograph Alley, and we are out of here. Just a touch over an hour. Not a bad way to start the MLB season. Like I was saying, pretty happy to be in a dump today. Brewers, appreciate y'all.